so now I have logged in as a student over here so I'll go to the courses now I'm in student mode and you can see uh, there is new assignment added in my course so student will click over here now I'm working as a student so now I will go to this assignment you can see the assignment is available I want to attempt the assignment so I will click on assignment number one here so now the description of assignment is available to me uh, my submission status is given total attempt one attempt is allowed so student will know that only one attempt is allowed in this case submission status not attempted so student should know that he has not attempted it and he has not received any grade for that as well so once you have given him a grade then also students will be able to see the grade the due date is also mentioned for the assignment that it is 8 July at 1.05 a.m. Time remaining is also shown over here. So if this uh, is being a student, I am going to submit an assignment. So I will click on aid submission. So once I have clicked on aid submission, I will be taken to this page. So I have allowed online text in this case to the student and also he can upload file as well up to uh, two attachment of one megabyte size. Uh, each so let's say that he is going to add some online text in this question uh, regarding the foundation types so I will just select some typical online text from here and then uh, place it over there like for example I am just copying this text let's say student has to write it but I am just uh, copying from here and placing it over here and also he can add image the students can add insert image or any HTML URL over here as well for a submission so you can check his assignment on the Google Drive as well also if the assignment size is very very large or if you want him to make a video or some numerical simulation etc so you can ask them to provide a URL link over here to their Google Drive and uh, the students can provide a link over here and from that you can basically uh, check that uh, where he has a place assignment and check it over there if it is larger size also if he wants to add file if students want to add file click on add button uh, choose file and then uh, choose from uh, the desktop like over here you can see uh, sample student submission uh, you can see this is the same file uh, sample student submission 713 kilobytes in word form it's four or five pages with some images as well so the file size is not very very large uh, so uh, when you convert the same file to the PDF so if you should encourage your students to convert it to the PDF you can see the same file the size is 269 kilobytes so I will just upload this PDF file uh, so the once the PDF file is uploaded over here uh, I will click on upload file So the file is ready over here okay so this is the confirmation that the file has successfully uploaded uh, if the file size is large it will give uh, the student it will provide student with a message that the file size is large and he has to reduce the file size so make sure that the image appear over here uh, of the file which you have up uploaded as a student so then the student has to click on save changes all right so once he has clicked on save changes his submission will appear over here okay so submission is submitted for graded you can see over here the teacher has not graded it yet uh, the online text which uh, the student has written that is mentioned over here you can check it completely by click on this plus button or you can reduce it by clicking on this plus button as well so uh, <clears throat> also the file which has been submitted that is also appearing over here so students should make sure that this file in this description is appearing over here before they are going to uh, uh, finally close this. So now the student job is finished. Uh, he has uh, completed his attempt on the assignment number one. Okay. So now he can log out. So I will log out as a student. As a student, you are.